This is a quick tutorial of Creole parametric on how to bring driving dimensions from your part into your drawing. So here I've already created a part. You can see all the dimensions that were used to actually create the part. Go into the drawing. And under the annotate tab, go to show model annotations. Click the boundary of this view and then select the dimensions that you want to keep on the drawing. I want this one. You can see that this is the dimension that refers to this uh, top circle's uh, diameter. Choose any uh, of the other ones as well. You can see they automatically get checked. Press OK. And those are the dimensions that stay with the drawing. So those are the driving dimensions. Again, those are the dimensions actually used to create the part. On the other hand, driven dimensions are dimensions calculated by Rio. Uh, you can do that by under the NSA tab and then that dimension tool. So we'll use this bottom circle as an example. So now we know this top one is the driving dimension and this bottom one was driven. This one was calculated by the Creole machine. So the difference is um one of the differences that if you ever delete a feature that has a dimension to it if it's a driving dimension it will update and delete it as well but if it's driven and the feature is deleted it will stand floating and you would have to come into the drawing and update by deleting that floating dimension for example, go back to the part and go to the sketch, delete these circles, go back to the drawing. We'll see that the top one, again, it was used, uh, the dimension used was the driving dimension. This got deleted because it was updated. This bottom one, however, was the driven dimension and it's still floating. So you would have to come in here and delete it yourself. Which you can you can predict if you have a lot of um, features being deleted or updated, how many floating dimensions you would have to clean up. So that's one good thing about using driving dimensions. Thanks for watching.